Okay, so the first thing we are doing today is we are replacing the seals on a Champion 2 inch trash pump. And here are the seals it's item part number 202 251301.02, which is the friction piece silicon carbide with the seal on it. And then we also have item number 202. 250300.02 which is the water seal. First thing we need to do is take a 13 millimeter wrench and remove four bolts. One, two, three, and four. Just gently support the uh, inlet with your hand. That's three bolts, this is the fourth bolt. Just give it a gentle wiggle. And off it comes, exposing the impeller right there. If you want to take a quick look at here, okay. So in order to get to the uh, seals, they are behind here, and apparently this is threaded on, and you have to hit it on the left-hand side to unscrew it. We have a little bit of compression there. Just make sure your engine is off. Maybe even pull out the uh, spark plug cover just so it will not start and hit it with a hammer. Well that was pretty easy and it just unscrews as you can see it's coming out lots of thread and there are the seals in there And there's also another seal right in there, I'm going to show you where that is. Okay, so looking closely on the inside you can see the water seal right in there. That's the one. And then there is the other one right there. Right, but I'm not entirely sure how this one comes out. I'm going to try and pry it with my fingers not coming out so I'm just going to pry it like so. That's the actual bearing and then here's the rubber seal so this goes on here like so. And here's the new one so what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean this area up just pop this one in like so. Back together and push, push it in. Exactly flush, but I don't want to get any better than that. All right, so I'm not ex sure exactly how to get this guy out here, but what I'm going to use is going to use these uh, vice grips for the pin needles. I'm just going to grab the outside, a little wiggle. So that's, this is the new one, so I just pulled out that piece. Part two. And there is a spring, there is a spring on there. I believe there's one more thing, which is this. This whole stainless steel on the outside. problem. Just tighten these up. Grab the little rubber. Oh, there we have it. So actually that's 
thing it goes like so there's still one more piece in there I don't know if you can see there was a little lip which is this little lip guy right here I bent it in to see if I can grab it and pull it out because this is the whole thing I'm trying to get out right now okay so this is basically how I got this this piece out I basically pried all these pieces inwards pried them all inwards with my screwdriver and I grabbed my uh, needle nose pliers kind of pulled it out gently so as it comes out you can see right there how I did it how it's all screwed up and when I flip it over this one's kind of got like a rubber seal on it and the new one does not the new one's going to go back in the same place so we'll see how that goes basically just on like so so in order to get that in there I just pushed it in gently and then I'm going to tap it in with this guy and a rubber mallet. So you can see it's nice and snug in there and according to the company um, you don't need any sealer this is a new type of uh, seal so you don't need any kind of gasket sealer okay so the next thing is to spin on this guy's in there nice and snug so I'm gonna screw this one on tap with this guy okay the next thing is to put this final uh, drive in but there's a little notch. See that notch right there? It's got to go right there. There it is, in line. Next thing you do, pop this thing right on there. There's just a quick look at the alignment slot right there. Last one. There it is. All we have to do now is test it. <laughs> 